All right, so guys, welcome to the lesson 04. Here we're going to talk about some more sophisticated workflow of the selection of the edges that we're going to add some more detail to the disintegration effect. So far, we have discussed uh, with you the simplification process of the new selection edge and as well as the manual cutting of the edges with the help of the uh, cut phase tool. All right, so here you can see that like we are approximately working upon 100,000 polygons. So, you know, the edges and the selections are also really very heavy. So, it may could take a little bit amount of time for the Maya to, you know, uh, calculate. But uh, don't worry about that one. So, now I would like to convert the selection of this existing new underscore selection underscore edge to first of all to the face mode and then I'll. I'll again come back to the edge board. So for that, I need to press the Control and F11 keyboard shortcut to get myself the selection of the edges uh, to the face mode. And this process is taking a little bit of the time, so I would like to request you guys to keep patience and I need to take, uh, I need to pause my video for a while, okay? Alright, so we come back and uh now you can see that we already do have got the uh the selection of the faces and our whole section of the edges now have gone to the uh to, to, to the face mode all right now again i'm gonna do something which is uh pretty much interesting i again wanna convert the selection to the edge mode reason why because by doing this i can get the opportunity to shrink down the selections and in case of the shrinking you will gonna get some more selected edges that will going to get once detached we're gonna add some more sophistication in the disintegration effect all right so how i gonna do that first of all i need to again press the control f10 keyboard shortcut to get the selection of the polygon faces once again back to the edges all right now pressing control f10 All right, so now we have converted the faces to the edge board. Now the last step would be to shrink down the selection. Well, the keyboard shortcut would be the shift and the uh, the colon. Uh, uh, sorry, the, the shift and the comma. But you can also do uh, this uh, while going to the select and going to the shrink selection region. All right, so I can uh, I can press this one as well. Okay. So I'm going to press this one, shift and uh, comma. All right, so now we are back again. So now you can see that once I have pressed the shrink selection, you can see that only the single line of the edge is left. And here, this is something which is interesting. And you can say somewhere around here. So if all those edges will going to get break, we're definitely going to see some better kind of, you know, disintegration effect. All right. So that's pretty much interesting. And if you wish, you, you you may could add them as another selection set, or you can straightforwardly just can uh, you know detach them. All right. So I guess you may could go and create your own selection set as a uh, you know to be on a safer side. But for here, I just wanna go for the detach you know uh, face. Uh, detach edges so I'm gonna go here under the edit mesh and click the detach so it might could uh, going to take a little bit of a, a, a amount of the time to get itself addressed so we can pause the video again all right so now the edges have got already you know detached so I'm gonna check that up we can go back to the uh, face mode and can start you know uh, selecting the faces Okay, so let me just go and click, just double click here and now you can see that now the faces have already got broken up and the area is also pretty much nice. Uh, controls at this one. So now we are completely, you know, uh, done with the process of the selection. And guys, I just want to request you, all of you, to be a little bit more patient because, you know, at this point of time, you may going to experience some sort of a glitch or the lag inside the Maya because this whole process of converting the geometry, expanding the edges, contracting the edges, converting the edge to the face, then to the 
surface to the edge then to the shrinking will gonna take a little bit more amount of time so you may could find it pretty much fast and easy in this course but just because you know I have taken some very frequent pauses and the breaks just not to make you feel bored so um, first of all we need to save our file and the next process would be to get rid of all those selection set only then you will have to send your file for the conversion to the nucleus cloth all right otherwise your file will really going to be very heavy and your selection will going to show some lags so what you can do is that over here only let me just gonna go to the outliner and can get rid of all these selection sets all right now uh, with that we are no more facing any lag or nothing our file is pretty much fast and we can go and do our work very easily all right so i'm gonna save the file once again all right so see you in the next session where we're gonna convert this file to the nucleus cloth